Hello and thanks for watching the Ancient Speak. Let's learn Chinese from the wisdom of the ancients. In our last episode, we talked about traditional and simplified Chinese characters. Traditional Chinese characters were used before the writing reforms that took place during the second half of the 20th century in China's mainland. As the name implies, simplified characters are easier to write and many times have fewer strokes than traditional characters. Meanwhile, traditional characters are still being used in Taiwan, Hong Kong, Macau, and many overseas Chinese communities, while simplified characters are mostly used in China's mainland. Having knowledge of both is the beneficial for learning the Chinese language and its culture. We will compare traditional and simplified characters from time to time, but the Ancient B program series will mainly use simplified characters. All right, let's review the Chinese word for righteousness we learned in our last episode. Yi. The traditional form of this character is written this way. Now let's take a closer look at its traditional form, as it helps us to understand how this word was invented. The upper part of Yi is Yang, which means goat or sheep. The lower part is Wu which is the Chinese word for I or myself. Yet, in ancient times, the original meaning of Wu was that of a weapon. So, the whole character Yi reminds us of a lamb being burned as an offering to God as men did before they went to the battlefield for war. And the basic meaning of this word Yi is righteousness and justice. Again, the simplified form of this character Yi is written this way. Ancient Chinese teacher Menxia says, Xiu Hu Zhi Xing, Yi Zhi Duan Ye. Xiu Hu Zhi Xing, Yi Zhi Duan Ye. Xiu, to feel ashamed of. Wu, this word is a polyphonic word. As a noun, it is pronounced e, and it means something bad evil or weakness. Here, in this saying, it is a verb. It is pronounced wu, meaning to hate the evil or weakness. Zhi is an auxiliary word meaning of. Xin, heart. Xiu wu zhi xin, a sense of shame. Yi, righteousness or justice. Duan, the beginning. Ye is an auxiliary word. Yi zhi duan ye means the beginning of being just and righteous. Putting these all together, teacher Menchus is saying that a sense of shame is the beginning of being just and righteous. In our previous episode, we learned a similar saying by teacher Menchus. A sense of sympathy is the beginning of being benevolent. And teacher Menchus continues by saying, A sense of shame is the beginning of being just and righteous. Likewise, when the judge has a disdain for evil and treats it as shameful, he is more likely to uphold justice in his decisions. And for a man who is sensitive to avoid wickedness, he is more sincere in his search and determinations to follow the way of righteousness. This reminds us of a famous prayer for forgiveness by King David in the Holy Bible. When he was confronted by Nathan the prophet about his adultery with Bathsheba and the murder of Uriah, uh, Bathsheba's husband, David's heart was crossed with guilt of sins. He prayed, Be merciful to me, O God, because of your constant love. Because of your great mercy, wipe away my sins. Wash away all my evil and make me clean for my sin. I recognize my faults. I'm always conscious of my sins. Remove my sin and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. 
Let me hear the sounds of joy and gladness. And though you have crushed me and broken me, I will be happy once again. Close your eyes to my sins and wipe out all my evil. Create a pure heart in me, O God, and put a new and loyal spirit in me. David's prayer was answered. He was forgiven, restored, and is still referred to as the man after God's own heart. We find that both teacher mentions and the Bible tell us that a human being is not perfect and has many sins. Yet, those who recognize their wrong and desire to be changed can be made a right person, as Apostle John stated in his letter recorded in the Bible. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Let us again remember what Teacher Mensha said: "Show wu zhi xin, yi zhi duan ye." Show wu zhi xin, yi zhi duan ye. Show to feel ashamed of. Wu to hate the evil, wickedness. Zhi is an auxiliary word meaning of. Xin heart, show wu zhi xin, a sense of shame. Yi. Righteousness or justice, duan the beginning, ye is an auxiliary word. Yi zhi duan ye, the beginning of being just and righteous. Putting these together, teacher mentions is saying that a sense of shame is the beginning of being just and righteous. Again, xiu hu zhi xin, yi zhi duan ye, yi. And thanks for watching the ancient speak and learning Chinese together through their wise old sayings.